In the midst of the pandemic, we in New Bedford know that the world goes on. There are other challenges we face, there are other opportunities we must seize. And top among all of them is the threats uh, and the opportunities presented by climate change. We've accomplished so much in the last few years. New Bedford is a national leader in municipal solar, a national leader when it comes to LED lighting and building retrofitting and so many other measures to conserve electricity and to produce renewable energy. And we've been a leader on climate adaptation uh, as well. We're standing on the Harbor Walk, which itself is a great recreational amenity, uh, but it's also a tool to help strengthen the hurricane barrier that we're standing on right here. And there's so many other uh, examples to talk about. We know that our climate adaptation and mitigation efforts have to keep up with the times. That's why we went about the work of developing a strategic plan to reset our efforts, employ the data we track, and stay ahead of the challenges that climate change poses. With that in mind, today we're launching NB Resilient, our city's climate strategic plan, along with a climate dashboard that's available on the city's website. NB Resilient is more than a planning document. It's a clear, actionable roadmap that illustrates the measures that New Bedford must take in the short term and the long term in order to keep our residents safe and to enable everyone to thrive here in our city. NB Resilient means setting big goals and meeting the moment. Goals like 100% of waste diverted from landfills by 2050, preparing for sea level rise by protecting the port of New Bedford, planting thousands of trees to offset our carbon footprint, making our new buildings greener, and improving food security and healthy living for all of our residents. This plan is the result of the hard work of people both inside and outside city government, led by Michelle Paul, our Director of Resilience and Environmental Stewardship. And NB Resilient is already leading to progress on our priority actions. If you go on to nbresilient.com, you can not only check out the entire digital plan, but you can look at the dashboard that breaks up all the different focus areas and the different priority actions that we're taking. Uh, we're going to be updating that um, at least every year so that we can track progress on those priority actions and take actions down when they're completed and put new ones up there. So we encourage you to check out that dashboard because these are things that not only the city can do but businesses, individual neighborhoods, individual people can all take action. You don't have to act on everything but find something that you're passionate about and see how you can be a part of NB Resilient. New Bedford will continue to be a leader when it comes to renewable energy. We will continue to be a leader in energy conservation. And when it comes to climate adaptation protections, we will continue to lead there too. We'd like to acknowledge many community-based organizations, such as our neighborhood associations, Coastline Elder Services, CEDC, Love the Ave, Groundwork South Coast, Preservation of Affordable Housing, and many others who have embraced the process and contributed in meaningful ways. Why are we doing all of this? Years from now, people, maybe our children and grandchildren, will say that this was a moment when we had to step up. Let them say that we made the right choices so that they could lead healthier, more fulfilling lives. Mm -hmm.